Welcome to this FX Empire review of XTB, a broker that was founded in 2002 and is headquartered in Warsaw, Poland, but offers multiple regulations across different jurisdictions to trade on more than 1,500 different CFD instruments covering forex, indices, commodities, stocks, ETFs, and cryptos. As we can see here on the Brokers About Us page, if we scroll down, they have offices in over 13 countries, including UK, Poland, Germany, France, and Chile. And if we scroll further down, we can also see that they have large supervision from different authorities around the world, including the UK Financial Conduct Authority, Cyprus Securities and Exchange Commission, the International Financial Services Commission in Belize, and also from regulators in Poland and Spain. As we can see here on the FCA register, XTB Limited has the website xtb.com. The broker offers the ability to trade across two different trading accounts called Standard and Pro for clients using XTB UK. The account offering may differ depending on the jurisdiction chosen to open a trading account. As we scroll down, we can actually see with the Standard and Pro account, we've got maximum leverage there of 30 to 1 for retail categorized clients. Instruments, more than 1,500 different instruments across a wide variety of different asset classes. And if we scroll further down, you can trade across different trading platforms, including the broker's own proprietary based X station platform, which we'll be running through a little bit later on in this review, as well as the MetaTrader 4 trading platform as well. And as you can see here on the standard account, Forex indices and commod commodities have zero commissions, whereas the pro account has commissions from three pounds per lot and if we scroll further down we can also see on the stock CFDs and ETF CFDs commission from 0.08% per lot on the standard account and commission from 0.08% per lot on the pro account and you can see here cryptocurrencies no commission on the standard account and a commission from three pounds on the pro account so quite useful just to see the comparison between the two different trading accounts on offer the broker also provides a section called instrument specification where you can learn more about the different asset classes. So we can see here Forex, indices, commodities, stock CFDs, ETF CFDs, and cryptos. If we click on Forex, we can actually see a lot of useful information such as the swaps, overnight funding fees for the long and short positions, as well as the target spread and minimum spread. And you can adjust between the two different account types. So for example, on the standard account, Aussie against the Canadian dollar, the target spread is 4.6 pips. And if we go to the pro account, you know, the target spread there is 0 0.7 pips. So pretty tight there from the pro account, which is commission based. As you can see here, they source their price data from interbank market price from top tier banks. As mentioned before, XDB offers the ability to trade on their very own X station platform and as we scroll down here you can use the platform on web and on mobile app which we'll be covering as we go through this video review the broker also offers a market analysis section which covers market news price tables and a market calendar and as we scroll down here we've got different market news covering different markets so oil prices here stocks currencies as well as fundamentals and trade recommendations from different investment banks as well. On the right hand side, you've got top movers as well, as well as market sentiment indicators, which can be quite useful. If we click on one of these articles, we can actually see that they provide a little bit of text and an image to explain what they are actually discussing. And the broker also offers a trading academy in their education, in their education section called Learn to Trade here at the top. And we have basic intermediate experts. If we clicked on intermediate, for example, we can see a list of different courses open up central bank policy, commodity stocks, and so on. And you can click on show lesson and it will open up the lesson, um, which is about 15 minutes. So, you know, really useful information there for beginner traders and uh, advanced traders as well, as they cover some advanced topics. The broker also provides a contact us page full with email addresses and telephone numbers and you can click on your different region to access local support services 
and they also have a live chat function here on the bottom right and we'll go ahead and click on that and test that out. So as we can see here on the bottom right, it says the broker takes about a few minutes just to get a reply, but you can also put in your email address to get a reply as well. Now let's have a look at the proprietary based X station platform provided by XTB. So here we have XTB's proprietary base feature rich X station five platform, which is browser based. And as we can see here on the left hand side, we've got access to different markets. So we're going on FX, we've got majors here, we've got minors and also emerging currencies there as well. You can access different indices and also different types of index products such as um, the US media index, US biotech index as well, as well as the uh, traditional US 30 Dow Jones, Asia Pacific indices, European indices as well, like the UK 100 and so on. There's also commodities, agricultural commodities, energies and precious metals. And you've also got cryptocurrencies here as well and stock CFDs from different countries, European countries and the US as well as a list of different ETF. So, you know, a wide selection of different asset classes available to to actually trade on. OK, and um, you can either click on the market here and it will open up with a ticket. Yeah. And you can also click on the chart function here and it will open up the chart on the right hand side. So quite simple to use. You can also go to the chart here and actually click at the top and you can just choose which chart you want or you can type in for example euro against the US dollar and you can click on this and this will open that chart so very simple way to access different markets and get it on the chart as well nice clean functionality you can also change the view here as well and have the view here with different trading tickets if you wish and create a different favorites list as well now on the chart there's a variety of different options we have uh, indicators so a list of different indicators that you can put onto the chart You've also got options such as drawing tools, trend lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines and other drawing tools like Fibonacci levels and so on. You can also change chart constructs as well. And you can add different symbols to the chart. And here at the top, you can change the time frame as well. You've got minute charts um, up to monthly charts as well. So, you know, quite clean functionality to be able to use. And you can also create some charts here at the bottom as well. So you've got different tabs such as gold, we've got oil here, we've got euro and so on. And there's also a lot of other functionality as well. You've got different news articles available to look at. You've got a calendar as well, an economic calendar, market calendar, and you also have market analysis. So you've got markets. We've got the heat map that we're in right now. So this gives us the heat map of US stocks. You can also look at EU stocks and the foreign exchange market as well. It tells you what is strong and basically what is weak right now. And you can use the period for a day or a week. And we've also got a stock scanner here as well. So that's a really cool feature for any stock traders here. You can scan different um, stock filters using different uh, metrics. We've also got top movers. So what are the top movers for the day, week, month across different asset classes, as well as market sentiment. So market sentiment just showing the positions of different traders across the different asset classes. So quite useful information. You've also got an education tab here and a history tab as well. If we go back to the charts, we have a trading ticket at the top. We can have, we will, we can click buy or sell at the top. We can also click stop loss and take profit and add a stop loss and take profit in before we take a trade. And we can just click buy here as an example. And straight away that has actually been opened up. And you can drag your stop loss to where you want it to be. You can drag your take profit as well to wherever you want it to be directly from the chart. And you get confirmations here at the top right. And you can actually see at the bottom here, you've got access to your trading ticket and you've got different options. You can reverse the position, you can double up on the position, or you can simply close on the position as well. So, you know, really simple to use and really clean functionality to actually trade from the chart and lots of different features available on here. So I'll just click on close and that has now been closed. So really, really simple to use. Now let's have a look at the XTB mobile trading app.
So here we have XTB's XStation mobile training app for Android and iOS users. As we can see here, the first screen is the trading screen, which lists all the different asset classes available to trade on. And you can add different asset classes here by clicking the plus icon. And you can actually see all the different asset classes available to trade, Forex, indices, commodities, cryptocurrency, stocks, and ETFs. And you can also click on the most popular tabs here as well. And you can add it to your most populars. If we go back, we can actually click on Euro dollar here, for example, and this opens up a chart as well as a trading ticket at the bottom. There's a few different options we can do with the chart. We can maximize this and then we can change the different time frames. We've got minute charts all the way up to monthly charts. We can also add different indicators on here as well by clicking the FX button. And you can see we've got pivot points, exponential moving averages, Ichimokus, stochastic oscillators. We've got drawing tools here. If we click on the diamond shape here, and uh, we can put on trend lines and so on. So, you know, a wide variety of different tools there to be able to perform technical analysis directly from your mobile phone. And if we minimize this, we can actually go back to the small chart here. We've got different options. We can actually click on the three icons here at the top. We've got instrument details. And then we've got different order functionality. We've got market orders and we've got pending orders here. And if we go back to a market order, for example, we can actually put in take profit and stop losses. We can also put in price alerts and you can see the statistics here as well of daily price change and market sentiment. So if we go to the top here and click on buy, then this will pop up with another ticket as a confirmation. And you can choose to deselect that if you want by the little box there as well. You'll see what your commission is as well. Um, if it's a commission based trading account that you've opened and here then we can click on yes and that has now opened that trade so to actually look at that we can go back and we can actually see at the bottom you've got your portfolio and you can actually see you've got euro dollar here and you've got open positions pending orders closed positions cash operations so we've got a different a few different things we can do with this. We can click on this, for example, modify it, or we can simply close it. Okay. And we can close this and click yes. And now there's no open positions left. There's also some really cool features here at the bottom. You've got sentiments here. So you can look at different types of sentiment traders and volumes, and you can use your own custom filters there as well. So you can see the market sentiment for different asset classes. We've also got a calendar here as well, economic calendar. And in the more section, you can look at top movers, education, deposit, funding, withdrawal methods, and just general account settings. So really simple to use, nice, clean functionality and lots of different features here on this XTB XStation mobile trading app. And that really sums up this FX Empire review of XTB. We hope you found it to be of value and wish you all the best in your trading.